Hi, this is James with Falcon Fury Harley Davidson and Treasure Coast Harley Davidson. And today we're going to take a look at a motorcycle that sometimes people forget about. The old thing, when is a Harley Davidson not a Harley Davidson? Went into Street 750. That's right, today we're going to look at the Street 750. And this is a great, fun bike. And if you want to get into Harley Davidson motorcycles, there is no better way to do it than on a street. So here we go, check it out. All right. <laughs> okay, here we are. You ready? Yeah. Go. Perfect. Okay, so the Street Rod 750. This is the first time I've been on one of these bikes, and um, it, I'm, I'm a little tall for it, to be honest. Um, oh, you know what, though? Oh, it's fun. It's... Uh, you know, it's not a very heavy bike, so you've got that 750 engine, it actually gives her a little bit of pep. Let's see how it turns in here. Oh, it's a lot of fun. You can just, you can whip this around. I'm out with Jake today. He, uh, he wanted to come out for a ride. So I said, yeah, man, come on. The more, the more the merrier. Jake's probably a better size for this motorcycle. What we do, we're stopping. Jake is green light. That's cool. We'll just. Yeah, it's fine. We'll let everyone go. So we're coming up to the bridge, right? We always comfort on the bridge. Um, this is actually not an uncomfortable motorcycle. The seat's comfortable. The suspension feels great on it so far. Um, my legs are a little high up, but again, it's just because I have sort of giant legs. So they're, they're like spider legs. They just, <laughs> they just curl up. Um, but no, it's... It's pretty cool. So the Street 750, right? This is like the Harley Davidson that isn't a Harley Davidson. Uh, there's many parts of it which you just don't see on a usual Harley. The turn signal, it's all on one side, on the left side, like a um, I don't know, like a different bike. You know, a lot of bikes have it where the turn signal's there. I do like this colour though. This uh, this twisted cherry, I believe it is. It's very pretty. The sun's reflecting on it. Sort of mirrors out there. It's a really cold day today, by the way. Uh, it looks beautiful and sunny, but it's not. It's about 35, 36 degrees, so I'm freezing. Yeah, it's faster than I thought it would be, actually. It's, uh, I'm having a hard time with it. The, the right hand, the foot peg, your, your heel has to lay on the, uh, on the gas tank, or not the gas tank, sorry, the exhaust back there. There's a little uh, plastic part where your heel goes. Um, but I think my feet are just too damn big. I can't get on there proper. Yeah, no, nah, I'm just going to give up. But yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's much quicker than I thought it would be. It's, and it's really, really nimble. I am surprised. Because, you know, not having ridden one of these before, I was sort of going, eh, yeah, it's a street 750 street rod. Um, I thought, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to love it or not. But I tell you what, you can... You can whip this thing around. It's not fast by any means. I mean, it's not. It's not a fast motorcycle. It's not supposed to be. It's, uh, you know, this is like the beginner Harley. This is if you have never ridden a motorcycle, or if you're getting back into motorcycles. This is a great place to start. It's not massively fast, but it is really, really, really nimble. What's up, brother? There we go. Yeah, I could see actually taking this somewhere where there's, you know, more more twisties in this and really getting down low and having a lot of fun. It's really, really cool. Like once your feet are on, 
like right now I'm on and I'm very comfortable you know my knees are gripping the tank it kind of drives it like a you know sort of when I say it's not a Harley it's just not it rides like no other Harley it rides like a sort of a standard street bike something from I don't know, Honda or Kawasaki you know one of those it's just it doesn't necessarily feel like a Harley Davidson it's um it's a beast of its own I'm having a blast I'm really enjoying this now one thing I will say, and I, I don't always often say this, but this this motorcycle needs aftermarket pipes on. You can't hear it at all, it's just this quiet little purr. And bloody turn signal. Okay, I went I went to the right to turn it on. Let's see if Jake up there forgets to I bet he forgets to turn his off too, because they're not self-cancelling like they are on most Harleys. You have to actually physically turn them off. I bet he forgets. He see? <laughs> Yep. There we go, he remembered it now. He's not the only one. Hey, he's so, so nimble in these corners. It really just... Yeah. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my feet on this properly. I think it's just... I think I am just too big for this motorcycle. But if you are not six foot three tall, it's a really fun motorcycle. And you can just whip it around these corners. It's so light underneath you and it's so responsive to any input on it so it's like come here you just push gently on, on the on the right hand handlebar and it just leans right over I've got to be honest I am massively impressed I didn't think I, you know I thought I'd come on here and have to say nice things about it and um, I, look new construction corner and hey you can really get it down and look at Jake up ahead there you can really tuck it's a lot of fun but that's like I was saying, I thought I was going to come on here and sort of, you know, say, oh yeah, the Street 750, it's great for learning to ride a motorcycle, it's a good beginner bike. And it is all those things. But it's also really, really fun. Honestly, I defy anyone to get on this bike and not have a good time. What's that fella just walking across there? All right, mate, yeah, all right. But I defy anyone to have a good time on this. It really is, It's. it feels like oh, that bloody, oh... I'm not going to get, that's going to take a little bit of getting used to. If you're not used to the, the turn signal on the, on the left hand side, that takes a little bit of getting used to. It's not a bad looking bike either, is it? I like that blue. And like I say, it's not the fastest motorcycle on the planet, but it's, um, it can hold its own, to be honest. The 750 is not a slouch by any means. I do like the orange shocks though, they look great. Yeah. Nah. So, I, I don't know if you heard Jake there, but he was saying that, well essentially he was saying he likes the bike, wasn't he? He was saying there's precision to it, it's just, it handles nicely and it really does. Um, I think it has probably something to do with the suspension on this, those rather nice orange shocks there, I was saying, they, they, I like them, they look cool. Actually, I don't like them on this red bike, because red and orange, I just don't think goes together very well. But on the blue bike, they look quite sharp. But like Jake was saying there, you know, there is a precision to the bike that you wouldn't necessarily think would be there when you sort of look at it as saying it's the first step in the Harley Davidson journey. You, you sort of expect it to be, well, not quite as flickable as, as, as this bike. I tell you what, I have completely and utterly changed my opinion on this. I, I swear I came out thinking yeah okay whatever I'm leaving going I really really enjoy this again there with the, the sharp corner just no bother you can really just go around and then you can accelerate into the corner and you know it's better to see it from Jake who forgot to turn his signal off again <laughs> but uh Jake it's still he's not going to hear me is he there he goes but here comes a nice sharp left and you can just tuck it right in. Look at that. It's fantastic. It's really, really fun. So who is the Street 750 for? Obviously, it's for somebody that is new to the motorcycle world. Somebody that wants to get a bike, really wants a Harley Davidson. This is a perfect bike for you. It's easy to ride. Um, it's not particularly fast. It's not going to get away from you. But at the same time, you're going to be able to improve your skills on a bike by learning on this because like I say look at this you can just 
weave around and it, it's effortless, you know, you just give a little push on the handlebars and it just leans right over. Copycat of that <laughs> there, isn't he? But it's it's really fun. Um, so anybody that wants to learn to ride a motorcycle, this is an absolute perfect bike to do it on. And beyond that, I think if you're just looking for a motorcycle that you want to have to have fun on and rip around in the corners, this again is a really great bike. And this could be for someone who's more seasoned, a fantastic second motorcycle, something they just have to, you know, whip, nip down to the shops or bar hop, or we say cafe hop now, don't we? But let's see how it goes uh, maneuvering here. I mean, these are tight little spaces here, and it can just do it no problem at all. It's a lot of fun. And here we are back. What's up, Loki? Not impressed. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.